So we're removing a silver filling here and the first thing you'll see is the green sheet. That is a rubber dam that's going to keep the little bits of silver filling from getting down the hatch. Now I'm dividing that silver filling into pieces. I'm going to get to the bottom of the tooth in a second here. And there it is, that's the bottom. And now we just continue to divide the silver up so that each piece pops out as opposed to us having to drill out every last bit of it. And that way we create less mercury vapors. You'll also see that little white tube on the left side of the screen that's creating a little bit more um, negative pressure so that we can suck up all those vapors as they are coming out. Now you'll see a little crack on the back side of the tooth that we're eliminating right now. That's where the cavity was. So you can see that little dark spot. I'm going to point to it there. And that's soft and we want to get rid of that. So we've got to open that up, clean it all out, make sure that there's no decay associated with this tooth anymore. And yeah, we just start building it back up. So these are some retaining walls that I use to keep the filling material in place. We're going to be using a white composite material. These green little rings just hold everything in the correct position so that when the material goes in, it has the proper contour, or at least close to it. We we'll do some bonding here. Shine our light on it to cure the bond. And then we just start filling it up. So the rest is going to be pretty straightforward. I've shown fillings a lot on my channel, so I'm going to just speed this up here. And you'll be able to see exactly how this filling is restored. See, I'm building the walls here, which is really important. We want to make sure that the flossing contacts are really good. So we spend a lot of time building these walls and making sure they're the adequate contour. All right, keep going here. Continue to add material. Build the cusps back to how they were before. Want to make sure that none of the little cavernous areas within the preparation are missed, so that's why I pack some material in before we do those final increments. And we're just trimming things up, making it look nice and pretty. And there you have it. That is pretty much done. We just want to make sure those flossing contacts are perfect. Do our final cure. And then we just go ahead, take the dam off, and just adjust the bite. Make sure things are looking great. And that's it.